Well, that was quick. Last episode, we did all the Act 1 tasks. We did everything ten times. We defeated Andario ten times. She gave us nothing. Now we were in Act 2. For the Act 2 tasks, what was there to do? There was just tomb runs. Because we could go anywhere in this game. That's a cool thing. You don't have to go anywhere. Because we just need, like, what, coupons and, uh, rings and charms and amulets. You get rings and charms and amulets anywhere in the game. Just get these dragon stones. Dragon stones you get anywhere in the game. Everything. The runes. Well, yeah, the runes, I guess you get those later. You can't you can't depend on low level runes. That's, that would suck. Look, the dragon stones. See, we just got to Act 2. And the dragon stones, you need millions of those for the end of the game. And to go to Act 2, you just kill one guy. And then you go, you got that. You go to Act uh, 5 on Hell. You. Don't see those for like hours or hours. There we go. Yeah, just go anywhere in the game. That's a cool thing. Oh, just don't get hit. I have to get my damage up. I'm still not wearing anything, right? My gear sucks. Hopefully the tomb runs will upgrade all my gear. That'd be nice. Some set items. I still have the same magic find, right? 146. Yeah. So we'll see. There's a lot of enemies in these tombs. And then another cool thing is if you get bored of Frozen Orb, you can just become a Lightning Sorceress anytime you want. Then you can cast Hydras and see how the Hydras do. So how do they work? And then we broke even more rules, went to Ashiara in Act 3, and we said, give us back the Wanderer or something like that. Ghost. Maybe Ghost is a Lightning. Deviant. Dark Mage is Fire. I open. Do not want. Let's get back to Wanderer. Yeah, the Wanderer, you're back in the team. There we go. The mercenary, I didn't like it too much. Now this one can freeze everything. There we go. There we go, now we're okay to start the tombs runs. I went to bed, I woke up, and I thought about it, and then I was like, yeah, let's uh, do tomb runs. Yeah, let's try somewhere in Act 2, get some uh, sets and lead uniques from there, and then uh, move on to Act 3, probably. Maybe Trevinical or Mephisto or something. That'd be sweet. Yeah, same thing to get all the uniques and set items in normal difficulties, as long as I don't have to run uh, Bale and Cows cows for years and all the other end places I could run other stuff. Sweet. Yeah, because I still need all the low-leveled legendaries. Jeez, I don't know, maybe Frozen Orb would help here. There's a lot of Hydras and a lot of guys. Uh, yeah, let's try Frozen Orb again. And then we got a green set sped um, That's for the Act 2 Mercenary. But we don't have an Act 2 Mercenary. Maybe we should get one. So then we entered the first tomb. Yeah, and then there was a whole bunch of them. So what was in here? Uh, there's Doom Guards. Yeah, and it sucks. Everything takes so long to kill, and they hurt me. I lose my health and my mana all the time, but I'm uh, I'm actually getting experience. I might level up here. Level 34, I'll be able to use perfect gems. There's nothing in the golden chest. Is there a golden chest in each one of these, or was there two of them with the, with the golden chest? Could have been all the fake ones. If there's a golden chest, maybe we'll find something in one of those in one of the tombs. That tomb was clear, I don't think we really got too much, so on to the next one. And then we found a set hunter's bow in the Tarash's tomb, the second or third one, yeah. So now we didn't have that item, yeah. We had a new set. We just needed the other piece now. And then we leveled up to level 35 after killing that guy. Wow, we finally leveled up, we could finally use perfect gems. And then a dragon stone. Yeah, that was a dragon stone outside, and then a dragon stone inside the tombs. Now we had two of them. Oh, and then we leveled up Frozen Orb, so it did more damage. It did more damage right now for some reason. There we go. Yeah, 162, because I leveled up, maybe. Wow, 138 to 162. Yeah, because this charm, it uh, gives extra damage depending on your level, right? Plus 1% total damage per level. That's pretty cool. And then there was a unique double axe dropped in one of the tombs. So we got two sets and then a unique item. And then Melee Star Hardcore was like, geez, wow, uh, had a nice break. That was nice going in Act 1. I got tons of coupons and tons of re-rolling points. Uh, let's go to Act 5 and let's actually level up now. I haven't done anything in Act 5. Let's do Act 5 here on 
Player 7, maybe it'll give us tons of sick items, and then, uh, that would be a lot stronger. We'd be able to go kill stuff a lot faster. We're killing stuff so slow on Act 2, so if we go here, we'll get experience and level up and items. It'll take forever to kill everything. I might die, but we'll see. Be a lot more efficient here. I don't want to really waste any time in these episodes. We've just been in Act 1 the whole time. What are we doing? We're supposed to be maxing. We're supposed to be getting the best stuff in normal difficulty. But they definitely do take a while, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not really doing damage, so hopefully this will fix that. Yeah, I'll get lots of sick gems. I'll be able to get flawless gems here. Screw the chips gems. Yeah, and then I guess I could literally sit here all day shooting these guys, and they won't lose any health. Well, they, they do, I guess. Wow, it just seems to take so long, but it is on player 7, so I'm getting so many more items. Look at my experience already. I'm going to have to keep going to town to get mana potions. Maybe we'll find a sick ring. Yeah, and then you think uh, you're done with these lightning guys. No, these lightning guys are back and they still suck. I'm losing all my mana when they hit me. Jeez. Lightning guys, really. Wow, look at the health drop. Wow, I really got to be careful here. Jeez. Wow, and then I'm all out of potions, but I'm like over half a level. Look how much experience I have. I barely even went through this place. I've still got the other sides to clear. Wow. Out of potions, but tons of experience. Oh wow, and then there was two items ready. We got the set breastplate. And then we got the set bastard sword. Wow, maybe we should actually look at them and equip one of them. Our armor is garbage, right? Yeah, what is the breastplate? Is it Tyrael's breastplate? All resistance is plus 30. Wow, that was going to help, so we upgraded our armor there. Now is it the bastard sword? We can't use it for anybody. For the mercenary, we don't have him yet. Wow, so now our resistance is skyrocketed. Perfect. Then it's kind of hard to explain how much damage they do, but I'll show you. I got no potions already and I'm almost leveled up though. Oh, Rune, and we got a dragon stone. A health potion. Wow, maybe I could. Oh, wow, I did level up. And then we leveled up to level 36 in the bloody foothills. Wow. We didn't even get that far, right? We're just gonna come down and clear this place. So much experience here compared to Act 1. Oh, and I did more damage to my frozen orb went up. I leveled it up, so 153 to 177. And then eventually fighting on the bloody foothills leveled us even up even further, probably. 36 now. Yeah, pretty soon we were gonna level up so much experience here and it was so safe kind of well no not really they still, they still just wow level 37 and then we leveled up and our mercenary leveled up too 32 i'm 37 oh 180 now we could level up our frozen orbs now we did a 176 to 200 frozen orb damage it's going so high now this leveling up is helping us and then we open this chest and then we got a green set cap item wow a cap from Act 5, so that's good, you get all the Act 1 stuff too, so there's no reason to go to Act 1 then. I just wasted, I just wasted 7 or 8 episodes in Act 1 for nothing. Act 2, we could have just stayed in Act 5 and just uh, been on Episode 5, we could have had most of this stuff. What did I do the past 2 days? And then we also got a set heavy gloves dropped on the ground, we're just getting lots of sets and uniques and experience, this is just the best of everything. And then eventually on the bloody foothills we leveled up again to level 38. Jeez, that's like uh, three levels already in no time and all the items. Wow, when we're done this, we already got the waypoint. Maybe we should run bloody foothills again. That sounds like a good idea. Oh jeez, and I didn't even notice I should have put my skill point in, right? We raised our damage from 176 to 200 to 195 to 220. Jeez, it just keeps going up so much all the time. And then we we're at the top of the mountain, and we got the waypoints, so we're like, well, let's kill the Eldritch guy, might as well. And then we can start a whole new game, because he's always here, he's a super unique, right? Is that what it is? A super unique monster. He's right up here. Yeah. Somewhere, there he is, in Rich Enslaved. Where is he? Eldritch the Rectifier, extra fast. Don't get killed, though. Don't really have anything. <laughs> Not really wearing any items yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, eventually after a couple more bloody foothills runs, maybe this won't take this long. That'd be nice. We didn't drop anything. We got a ring. Right. Yeah, was experience. Wow, we're almost leveled up already. Jeez, we're almost 39. Wow. Oh, that's so quick. There. So now we can go to the next run then. Jeez, that's already a run. That's already a... Wow. Any items? No, probably not. Maybe. I don't know if there's anything good. I'll let you know. There, and I didn't really identify any of this. Let's just uh, do some more bloody foothills. Let's get to a, to a high level, and then get some items here, and then maybe I'll try to organize this, and then get a checklist, see what I need, see what I don't need, see what I have. And I just picked up these, just because these are the goal, right? You want the best ancient armor and the best great sword. But you're not a barbarian melee source. You could use a great sword, though, right? Yeah, a melee source could use a great sword and an ancient armor. That would be sick. Cool, yeah, so now let's go to the bloody foothills. We're level 38. Let's get to level 40 at least. Except let's start from the top of the mountain so those annoying catapults aren't always shooting at us at all the time. And then, yeah, we might as well just kill this guy first. Yeah, let's kill Eldritch and then let's go down and kill everything in the bloody foothills and then kill Shank the Overseer. Cyclops really has that much health? Do I really, am I really that weak? Am I that weak on player seven? All right, and then eventually we uh, took down the Cyclops. He keeps regenerating health. He dropped a skull. That's good. And then it was on to Eldritch the Rectifier. He was going to fall first. And then everybody else in the bloody foothills. Should we just go through the Frigid Highlands, maybe? Yeah, let's just go through the Frigid Highlands. That would work. I mean, it would be the same thing, right? But we'd actually be progressing. That would make sense. Why would we run the bloody foothills 20 times? We could just go to the end of Act 5. guy gonna level us up no probably not dropped a razor bow so let's uh <clears throat> clear the friggin highlands oh and then that one crush piece leveled us up geez we're level 39 now we got a level and we just started we just got to the friggin highlands we didn't even really leave the waypoint oh and then we spent another stat point in the frozen orb so now we raised it from 220 to 240 215 to 239 now Jeez, yeah, and then we just killed one of those Cyclops guys, but s screw that. Wow, they just have way too much health. I'm not, uh, I'm skipping those guys. Um, skip. Yeah, those stupid Cyclops. Just, what's the point? Oh, wow, and then that, uh, super unique, he dropped us two unique items, an amulet and a long battle bow. Wow, is the amulet good? We don't really have an amulet. What does the amulet do? We probably need it. Plus one to Mitra, plus one to all skills. That's good. Fire resist 40%. Yeah, we need fire resist. Wow, now we got a Mitara. Oh, yeah, and our skills go up, so our frozen orb goes higher. And our stats all go up. There's our new stats title. Well, now we're looking a lot better. Now we got a Mitara. Plus one to all skills. Sweet. That's yes, now if I go to a melee source, I got a Mitara. That is cool. Oh, and then I changed my skills because guys have that annoying curse that whenever you spend mana, you lose health. It's terrible. You spend mana and then your health goes down, right? You're just like, oh, let's, let's spend, uh, let's cast a billion frozen orbs and then your health just keeps going down. So let's try Hydra for a bit. That'd be cool. Yeah, this place is good for Hydra anyways. All the sh small corridors. Everyone just runs into the Hydras, right? There we go. Now I don't have to worry about my health dropping all the time. I can just leave my Hydras up maybe. Yeah, it'd be a safe way to do it, too. We're in the frozen river. Yeah, see, it's just terrible. It's like, oh, let's cast, 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 cast. What the heck? So dangerous. I hate that curse. Oh, and then look, there's another gem shrine. I haven't uh, seen a gem shrine since Act 1 Bloodmore, where we found four of them in three runs. Wow, so now we could just go to town. We could uh, take our blemished topazes out of our boots. We could just take them out. We could uh, dupl duplicate them, essentially, right? We just take our blemished topazes, and then we go back down to the gem shrine, because we don't have any gems. And then we hit the gem shrine, then we get a perfect topaz, and we go back home, because it's safer there. So then now we put the perfect topaz into the gem can. There we go. Yeah, and then we just change the can opener, so now we can take out a blemished 
blemished gems, right? Yeah, and then we just change this. Now we change it to topaz, and then now we turn that one blemished gem into three blemished gems. Wow, those gem shrines are so helpful. That's going to help our magic find so much. So now we're at 162% magic find and 100% gold find. Oh, and then the boss pack dropped us a unique flail. So that's another one that we don't have. Nice. Yeah, and it's definitely times like these. I'm glad I'm a sorceress because these guys would probably just run up and wreck you, right? All the, what does he even do? Where's the boss? Is he dead? So maybe he's dead. Yeah, these hydras are so cool. You just cast millions of them and then they just kill everything and then you just teleport across the river and then you're safe. Oh, and then did I do a level 40 check? I don't know. I leveled up to level 40, so that's good. Then my Lightning Hydra is doing 410 to 429. Yeah, and then I could level up my Hydra, I guess. Wow, yeah, what does my Hydra do? 441 to 460. And then eventually we got to the end of the Frozen River and we transformed Frozen Anya into regular Anya again. We unthawed her. So now we got the scroll again to get more 10 resistance and then we could gamble. Do we gamble? I don't know. Our resistances went way up though. And then we're unlocked the other half of the act. Yeah, the first half of Act 5 was done already. That was it. It was just into the portal and then just the other other half of Act 5 and then we're done. Yeah, and we set up our Hydras and then all the zombies rose up out of the ground and they leveled us up right to level 41. Hopefully. Yeah, level 41. Jeez. Now we're level 41 already. And then we got the set Iron Guards. That's the Barbarian set, right? The Iron Guards, I think. Yeah, the Canes Guards. Now we just needed the sword, the shield, the armor. And then eventually the champions probably leveled us up. Almost level 40, 42 already. Jeez, what? 42? Holy, wow. That's a lot. I thought we were level 40. Wow, yeah, and then we leveled up to level 42. We were even stronger now. We are doing so much more. These Hydras were so ridiculous. You just cast them and they just kill everything for you. Where's the waypoint now? Wow, and we already got so much to the next level already. And then we got our set robes from these guys. Yeah, the robes, those are for the mercenary, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, the mercenary could use those then. Those are made for... No, they're not the... Oh, there's a different set. Damage reduced by 8, magic damage. Well, that's definitely better than your uh, triple socket hard leather armor, that's for sure. There, and then we found the waypoint. Wow, what, level 35 up to 42, and then we found some better stuff, and we're in Act 5. We were just before the Barbarians, so now all that was left to do was go to the Barbarians and then die so we could start at level 1 again.